Now let us see some remote sensing interview questions and answers. First is which one of the following statements is correct? Snow albedo falls at all wavelength with the increase of grain size. The effect of grain size on reflection is maximum in the NIR region. The effect of grain size on reflection is low in the visible region of the spectrum. The answer is D all of these. So snow albedo falls at wavelength with increase of grain size. The effect of grain size on reflection is maximum in the NIR region and the effect of grain size on reflection is low in the visible region of the spectrum. These all are true. Next question is the refractive index of the ocean water. These are options for you. Can you tell me the answer? Can you find the precise answer? The refractive index of the ocean water increases with the salinity. That is the, the I, don't, I don't want to say the salt, but uh, because there are various components, elements involved that makes water salty. But the salinity is that components, uh, excess of that components. Next question is the arrangement of terrain features which provides attributes, shape, size and texture of object is called what? The attribute of terrain features, shape, size and texture of the object. Is it uh, spectral variation, spatial variation or temporal variation? The answer is spatial variation because we are talking about the sh size, shape and texture. Next is electromagnetic radiation. Now these are the options. It produces a time varying magnetic field and vice versa. Once generated remains self propagating. It is capable of uh, traveling across space, consists of magnetic and electric fields. And this is the answer. Is E the answer? Yes, the answer is E. Because electromagnetic radiation they produces a time varying magnetic field and vice versa. They are once generated, they remain self propagating, though they lose the power, that is, attenuation occurs, but uh, they are self propagating. And they are capable to travel across space also. And this consists of magnetic and electric fields. The next question is pick up the important uh, characteristic of a target which facilitates the identification of the following. Pick up the important characteristic of a target. Identification. Spectral, spatial, temporal uh, polarization variation. The answer is E. All of these. Spectral, spatial, temporal polarization. All these variations are important characteristics of a target which will facilitate you in identifying the object. Next question is which one of the following frequency regions is a part of sun's radiation? Is it uh, ultraviolet, visible, infrared, radio? The answer is E. You know, don't be tempted to answer this visible frequency region because sun's sun also gives ultraviolet, sun gives infrared, sun has radio frequency region also. So all of these up, along with this visible frequency region are a part of sun's radiation. Next one. The instrument which provide electromagnetic radiation of specified wavelength or a band of wavelength to illuminate the earth's surface are called what? Let us see. The instrument which provide electromagnetic radiation of a specified wavelength. This is an instrument, not the, not the uh, natural, natural object or the uh, celestial object. So, instrument which provide electromagnetic radiation of specified wavelength or a band of wavelength to illuminate the surface. Is it sensor, passive sensor or active sensor? The answer is uh, C. It is active sensor. Why? Because it sends the electromagnetic radiation and then it receives also. It sends and receives like uh, the SAR, synthetic aperture radar is an example of this active sensor. Due to uh, perturbation, perturbation uh, if the word perturbation means variation, okay, that is uh, due to the perturbation of the orbit, satellite orbit parameters are frequently updated on measurement carried out by its, these are the options for you. You know, whenever the satellite orbits, there is some variation because, you know, in the atmosphere and in, in, in around the atmosphere, above atmosphere, that is, we go up to the ionosphere and you know, troposphere above that. So, and vacuum also after that. There is some perturbation or movement. So, how you are going to update the measurement? We are talking about the GPS actually, or say 
uh, normal satellites. So there are about five ground stations if we talk about GPS. Next is uh, coherence of two electromagnetic waves takes place if their phase shift is constant in time, constant in space, constant in time and space. None of, that, none of these. Coherence of two electromagnetic waves. The answer is C. Constant, it should be constant in time and space. Next question is the part radiation due to scattered or diffused radiation entering the field of view of a remote sensor. Other than that, from the required target. Of course, th there will be various radiation that will be received. So, how it is going to affect? These are four options for you. Please read them and tell me the answer. The answer is A. It will reduce the contrast of the image and also its sharpness. So, reduction of contrast and sharpness will take place. Though from those radiation which has come because of the scattered or diffused radiation entering the field of view of the remote sensor. Next question is which one of the following residual biases involves the GPS accuracy? Satellite dependent biases due to the uncertainty in the orbital parameters of the satellite. Receiver dependent biases due to the clock stability with the line. Signal propagation biases due to the sphere and troposphere propagation and all of the above. So which one of the following residual biases uh, involves the GPS accuracy? Actually the answer is D. All of the above. Because the satellite dependent biases, you know, because of the uncertainty in the orbital parameters of the satellite, receiver dependent biases due to the clock stability, signal propagation due to the, you have you know all these atmospheric uh, perturbation or uh, disturbances there. So answer is D. All of the above. Now the next question is pick up the correct definition from the following with response to GIS. Now you need to know you need to be very uh, precise about GIS definition because all these four. Or some are uh, pertaining to that also. But the answer would be our DY because the, uh, in GS, common boundary between two areas of locality is known as adjacency. The area feature which are wholly contained within another feature is known as containment. And the geometric property which describes the linkage between line features is also defined as connectivity. So all of these are correct. Next question is which one of the following errors is produced by a platform characteristics of the sensor? Platform characteristics of the sensor. Altitude variation, altitude, orbit, drift. Well, the answer would be D, all of this. Because of the platform characteristic of the sensor, altitude variation can be there, altitude variation can be there, orbit and drift can be there. Next question is the coherence, the coherence length over which there is a strong relationship between amplitudes. The coherence length or with the, there is a strong relationship between amplitudes is. Can you tell me the answer? Which one of this is? The answer is inversely proportional to the bandwidth. Okay. The coherence length over which there is a strong relationship between amplitude is the is inversely proportional to the bandwidth. This is the question. This is the figure. Now uh, you have to tell that. If whether crest A is pi by 2, is it pi by 2? And B is the crossing which is pi. Rough C is 3 pi by 2. See this pi plus pi by 2. Pi plus pi by 2 is nothing but 3 pi by 2. So the answer would be all of these. The answer is D. If you have theta is the angle of scan measured from the nadir. nadir. Nadir is the straight up point and just below the satellite you have a, you know, sorry, Nadir is the, uh, just below, straight below the, the object. This is Nadir and the straight up is the, called the zenith. Zenith and Nadir. So the theta is the angle of scan measured from the Nadir, this point. Okay. Now this is a scan angle. The ground distance set by the sensor IFOV is field of view. That is, um, IFO is proportional to what? This is square, sin square theta, cos square theta, sec square theta, tan square theta. The answer is, it is proportional to, this is proportional to sec square theta. Sec square theta. Now, the next question is, which one of the following statements is correct regarding the GPS satellite? The nominal altitude is about 20,200 kilometer. This is also true. 
the inclination of axis is satellite is 55 degree this is also true the satellite transmits to l band signal l one is uh, 1.57 gigahertz l2 is 1.27 gigahertz all of these the answer is or uh, should be d all these are true now pick up the correct statement from the following uh, indian space effort started in 1962 with the establishment of a rocket then dus department of space was established by government of india in 1972 isro is responsible for the space technology and its application to various activities so the answer is d all of the above true relay criteria relay criteria for a rough surface the well, letters carry the region meaning this is lambda and etc h is greater than say lambda by 8 cos theta okay so relay criteria answer is c lambda by 8 cos theta pick up the correct statement from the following the distance between two successive crest and troughs of a wave of a is so this is the distance between two uh, crest and two troughs okay this is called the wavelength lambda the wavelength is measured in meters and fraction of a meter micrometer say micrometer the wavelength is generally denoted by uh, lambda this is not question mark this is lambda the length of the crest from the midpoint is called the amplitude this is called amplitude the answer is e all of this this is all true now the basic requirement of any sensor system is radiometric resolution spatial spectral temporal all of this the answer is e for a for a sensor system there has to be radiometric spatial spectral and temporal resolution as well next question is which of the following helps to identify the objects on the earth surface atmospheric window signature radiometric error helps in identifying the answer is signature signature Uh, actually helps to identify the objects on the earth surface the spectral region of the electromagnetic radiation which passes through the atmosphere without much attenuation is can you answer this the answer is atmospheric window as atmospheric window is that spectral region of the electromagnetic radiation which passes through the atmosphere without much attenuation we have uh, places electromagnetic radiation which blocks these also electromagnetic radiation which of the following statement is correct during the day earth reflects solar radiation during the day earth reflects the both solar radiation the emission from its surface during the night earth emits radiation from its surface the answer is d all of this so during the day you know what happens in the day earth if this is earth earth will reflect the solar radiation in the uh, in day earth reflects both solar radiation and emission also because at um, daytime also emission will take place but during the night time because there is no radiation which is coming so earth only emits the radiation next question is the remote sensing technique applied for the earth surface features is generally confined in the following length a wavelength so these are various wavelength can you answer is it this is it this or this the answer is d all of this you know we start from you know, remote sensing mostly we are worried about the uh, visible region region we are which are just uh, prior and after to the visible region we are only worried about these regions the value of energy quantum for radiation of any frequency is proportional to what the frequency frequency reciprocal of the energy square of the frequency square root of the frequency the value of energy for radiation e the answer is a is proportional e is equal to h nu nu is the frequency so this is directly proportional to the uh, energy quantum of radiation is directly proportional to the frequency so these were few question which are pertaining to remote sensing gis gps etc and we will be taking more of them shortly thank you so much